Hello everyone, it's me, your new best friend Tom, and I make Nigel and Marmalade. And I make it on my own. I write, animate, and voice uh, all these videos myself, and somebody out there has been keeping track on IMDB of every character that I've voiced. Thank you, that person. That's a lot of work. And so I thought it might be fun for you to see me doing the voices. So here is a little highlight compilation of that. I've got an uncut version of this for my YouTube members and patrons. So yeah, enjoy. Hello, Nigel and Marmalade. Won't you join me for a spot of tea? Yes! Oh, oh you know me, Nigel. I've been off thieving again. What did you steal this time, Patricia? Uh, just this little old thing. <laughs> From that night over there. She bested me in combat! Bested me with her blade! <laughs> Oh, that's a lovely cuppa. Nigel, has there always been a tiny door in that tree? Step aside, you bastards! I'm Trim Lipley, and I'm going on my first adventure! <coughs> well, I'm not entirely sure, actually. All I know is that every adventure starts by firing the adventurer's pistol. <coughs> no, it doesn't. Yes, it does! <laughs> Bang! You killed my bird wife, you colossal twat! Oh, no! Help me! <coughs> I am Nibbles, the Frog Guardian, keeper of this pond, you cannot! Ah. We could just walk around you. Don't do that, please! Guys, what are you doing? Stop it! Oh, I'm a useless guardian! Useless Nibbles! Useless idiot! <laughs> you would help little Nibbles with his security issues! <laughs> oh, thank you! He's dead. Undead, actually. Ah. I was riding along when that vulture started pecking me and knocked me off my bike. You're a naughty little bastard. Did you know that? I eat dead things. I'm a literal vulture. Oh, and I was in the lead of the annual undead bike race. <laughs> Come on down to the annual undead bike race. <laughs> the gigantic boulder lift is truly a test of this gnome's strength. Oh, and his arms are off. I wish I had biceps like those hunky gnomes. I only have these nubs. Oh, mama. I wanted to have biceps, Nigel, not be a bicep. Who? All oh, right, you absolute goblin. Hold that right there until I get back. But it's so heavy! Oh, shut your filthy mouth, would ya? I just need to speak to these customers. I'm the tastiest cake, that's me. Maybe it's the one singing about being the tastiest cake. Well, I don't see why not. <laughs> I thought you said we could have a slice of you. I didn't know he would hurt like a bastard. He does? I don't want to get eaten. Oh, you have to help me escape. Climb aboard, cake. <laughs> oh, it's me, the Duke. I'm a fancy boy. Oh, hand delivered cake. So, I'm a cute boy. I appear to be rising into the air, Nigel. <laughs> Jokes on you! I don't even work here. I'm a prank wizard, and you have been officially a wizard pranked. I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> The balloon cellar's going to burst. Bollocks. This beaver bastard here keeps singing about some old bollocks. I am a beaver, but not a real beaver, for I cannot chop down this tree. <laughs> no one must know, to my grave it will go, that my teeth are all soft and floppy. Hello, beaver. Shit! Speak to me, Trevor. Speak to Daddy. I'm just a little homesick. I wish I could go for walkies on the flaming brimstone plains of the underworld. You've ruined my life. I'm going to kill you both. <laughs> Are you okay, flesh log? In the wild, us flesh tubes just have to roll where the wind blows us. We have no control over what direction we go in life. I'm just upset because I thought I was special. Do you like meat? Well, why not traverse the deadly mountain path of Murak Thronk and get your mucky little hands on the juiciest 
Burger, this side of the Dwipple Sea. Our van is located just beyond the stone bridge that crosses the bottomless ice gorge. Oh, oh man, man, man. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Hang on a minute, please. What is it, troll? Yo, yo, I'm Blapwood Crunkle. This is my bridge. How do we cross it, Blapwood? You must beat me in a thumb wall. His thumb is bigger than your whole body. <laughs> Uh, looks fine to me. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Hey, Sprout, you scum. You know, just pelting rotten veg at this criminal hobbit. Ow, was that a butternut squash? What are you locked up for, hobbit? Honestly, I don't even remember. They locked me in here two and a half years ago and forgot about me. Can you get me out of here, please? Well, I'm not about that man. I'm about that man. Excuse me, what are you doing? He'd been locked in there for two years. Two years? He only been locked up for two minutes. Muscle magic is highly illegal, my friends. I don't practice that anymore. <laughs> Look at me, Nigel. I'm a buff boy. What about you, little wizard? <laughs> Look at the muscular definition on that forehead. Why do you want flesh dissolving acid? <laughs> no reason! <laughs> no suspicious reason, friends! <laughs> nothing! It is nothing! Don't look! He's trying to kill me! You have a sentient hand? Yes! And he's a pain in the ass! Please let me dissolve him and get this over with! <laughs> I got a limb. That is my tire and my limb. Sorry, fish. Oh, it's all too easy for you land bastards to get your hands on a tire or a severed limb. But for a watery twat like me, it takes a lot of work, you know. I'm not about that. Trapped I am. Cursed to live out my days in the confines of this piss puddle. I, however, am an inventor fish. And I'm building a very special device. Why are you lot hanging around my mist and looking at me? I don't like it. Go away, please. Why so touchy, big face? Look, the reason I'm hidden in this mist is because whenever I've shown my true self to anyone, they've always screamed and run away in fear. <laughs> You shouldn't live your life based on what other people think of you, mist creature. You're right, I should be myself. I'm Christopher, god of disease, and I don't care who knows it. Sorry, god of what? I'm off to go spread the plague. Whee! <laughs> don't worry, Nigel. It's probably just a mild plague. Shall we carry on to the festival? <laughs>